the brand new Azula comic just dropped and it has revealed Azula's possible redemption arc, her current whereabouts, and the most important question, what does she truly want? And I just have to say, this story has nailed Azula. It's a type of story that any fan would finish pretty content. She doesn't get a straight up redemption arc, but at the same time, she's not nearly as obsessed with controlling others. Now, is this me saying she won't be battling Zuko and Team Avatar in the future? Well, yes, but actually no. They 100% will have a fight, but but her journey will be led in a completely different direction. That remains to be seen though. This story has an A and B plot, and the B plot is at the beginning and end of the story. What takes place here is deja vu for Azula. It feels like the Boiling Rock Part 2 all over again. Her new friends, known as the Fire Warriors, have quote unquote betrayed her, and this is due to the fact that she once again prioritizes her mission and goals. She tries to make everybody believe that they're nothing without her, and the reason behind this is because these girls are only free due to Azula letting them out of the institution and the way she acts here kind of leads us into the A plot of the story where Azula is actually like in the title in the spirit temple. The reason she's here in the first place is because only those who are on the wrong path and need guidance are sent to travel here. There's a spirit in this temple, Azula meets them and the spirit gives her dreams of her ideal life that she seeks. Also at the same time though is getting the harsh reality that she faces. Later on in the story we see quote unquote physical versions of of Mei, Tai Li, Ursa, and Zuko in the temple, but they're not actually there. It's just like their true essence. Ozula knows full well what's going on, but she still argues and fights with them. And Tai Li has a huge conversation with her and basically explains that their time together hunting the Avatar was awful. It created a ton of anxiety and stress for her, and there was totally hints of this in the show to back it up. The comics like The Search right here and later Smoke and Shadow shows that Tai Li constantly lives in fear of Azula attacking them. Obviously, her fear was always there but the boiling rock heightened this fear and I know some people out there say that Ty Lee has a crush on Azula and I do see that viewpoint there is a side of her that has admiration for her but it was more so when they were little kids rather than during the main timeline of the series as we saw during certain episodes of season two she would always put a smile on her face compliment Azula or laugh at her jokes but this was definitely not authentic at least in my opinion she was way closer to May it was very clear Azula thinks that they're losers and had nothing before and after their mission. It's the same exact thinking that causes her to lose everything around her repeatedly. To kind of continue on with this, Zuko a few pages later comes in and tells her that she keeps people around to manipulate because she doesn't want to face the world alone for what she's done. When she's not in a position of control, she's so socially awkward and we saw this especially in the beach episode. So she keeps repeating the same mistakes with her friendships and blames everybody else. But these moments of blatant honesty aren't what changes Azula's character in this story. That actually has to do with Ursa, and we'll return to that in just a second, but we first need to return to the B-plot of the story. The Fire Warriors did in fact rescue their friend, Chiyu, who was captured by Tai Li and the other Fire Nation soldiers. They left to do this rescue mission while Azula was sleeping, and the only reason she walked towards the temple was due to her angrily finding her friends who quote-unquote betrayed her. Now we see in the final pages that the friend group is happily together, and the girl Zira who talked back to Azula was implied to be the new leader. Usually Azula would step in and fight but instead, she decided to let them go and begin a new journey. She's obviously still evil because she says, quote unquote, a new place to rule, but it's the fact that she's more willing to let things go than before. And these things are small steps to get her to a possible redemption arc. All right, so let's return back to Ursa real quick. She's of course a very sensitive subject for Azula. Rather than getting angry at her like everybody else though, we've seen Azula become emotionally unstable due to her previous actions. We saw this in the series finale of the show, The Search, and we learn a little more in detail why Azula thinks this way. She honestly believes her nightmares began the moment her mother poisoned Azula and protected Zuko. Azula openly states that if her mother stayed and protected her, then Ozai wouldn't have made her the firebending weapon she is. At the same time though, she also claims that Ozai is the only one out of everybody to have not betrayed her. It's clear at this point, Azula has had so many conflicting feelings and viewpoints that she's way too early in her journey for any type of redemption. She sees her flaws, but she's still blinded by what she's been led to believe all her life. The spirit also sees this and 
turns into a full monster's form to show Azula her true nature currently. In the future, I 100% think Azula is going to get some kind of redemption. I don't think she'll ever be a good person, but I also don't think she'll be a villain. I think she'll be kind of like an anti-hero. She'll do whatever she decides, and sometimes it might mean aligning with Team Avatar or be in opposition with them. But when it comes to Zuko, her mission before this story in the Smoke and Shadow comic was to make him quote unquote the best Fire Lord possible. And this was by causing chaos to force him to make tough decisions. That's what they continue to do at the beginning of this story, but they've done it for quite some time and have made basically no progress. So I think this story is kind of ending that chapter in Azula's life and we'll see her focus on something entirely different, whether it's create another plan against Zuko or try to rule something else or just hang out. Really, it depends. They could take her in any direction. And I think that's what the final panel of this story proves. As for Ty Lee, I genuinely believe that Azula does care for her. It's proven in this panel right here. If Azula was always how she was in the beach episode, or even just a bit more toned down, I believe her and Ty Lee would have an amazing relationship. Also side note, during Zuko's dream, he doesn't have a scar, and this is just even more proof to add to the large list that she clearly cares about him. And speaking of Zuko's scar, if you'd like to see the moments following him getting burned, you should check out the deleted scenes right here in this video video.